if you saw our last vlog, you know where we're headed tonight. We are going to the Tampa Theater for a private viewing of the new documentary, Tampa Beer Crafting the Bay. It is in partnership with Visit Tampa Bay and Film Tampa Bay. We are not only excited that this is a free event that we got tickets to, get to hang out with people from the craft beer industry throughout this region that have a passion for craft beer. So if you've never had the opportunity to actually set foot in the Tampa Theater, you're in for a treat. Our first stop is actually going to be a brewery we've never been to, believe it or not. We're going to Woven Water Brewing Company. It is in Tampa Heights. I followed them since they opened about a year ago and they have lots of sours on tap. So I'm super excited. This one we're not going to do a review for. We're just going to go and simply enjoy, but stay tuned because I'm sure we're going to video and pictures and at least share uh, what we find. And we'll do a review of this brewery in the future, but not tonight. Tonight, we're just gonna go and enjoy. Thanks. Bye. Bye.
the realization came in when we were, you know, sitting down with all these breweries and we were talking to these brewers. And, you? you know, there was a realization before COVID was, so it's like, are these breweries even going to be around when this documentary airs? really hit the craft beer industry here hard and, and all of the people that are up here and all the people that were featured in the film, even people who weren't featured in the film, I mean, everybody went through it and just kind of put everything on the line to get to the other end of it. And uh, I'm really glad that everybody did. Tourism, but it's not touristy. There's so many great locals that are so supportive of, the, of, of craft beer and local business. Um, and I don't know, it's just kind of like a little paradise, which is what brought me there. I'd be remiss not to mention Debbie and Marie, who was a, you know, they gave her. And it's Joey and Wayne. And I walk in, and it's pretty bare. That's in front of me. And it's dirty. <laughs> And I turn and I turn it around and it says Monsters. And they fill it with beer and I drink it. And I thought, this is the most Tampa beer moment I will ever have. What was the lightning moment where you realized that Tampa could be a representative for your brain? I mean, it wasn't one moment for me, it was really just a slow realization um, that you know that I always felt Tampa was under actually. We had this really cool history, especially when you go back to it. And I love how much history they really dedicated a lot of time to history in documentary. I really appreciate it. You know, the history was in my family. It was in, you know, in, in where I grew up. So I knew that, that it was a cool story. We just had to get it out there. It's a little postcard you stick on a beer bottle. And you can send that out the world and say, look, this is from whence it came. This is what's happened. Very honest with you, when I first moved down here, I knew nothing about Tampa culture. Absolutely. We would go to lunch together, or we'd go to different places around the city, and I would slowly learn about Tampa culture through visiting places, having food at restaurants, Experience. Basically, Joey was sharing Tampa with me so I could learn how to incorporate it into our beer. Tampa makes me feel this way. But when you look at things like Guava Grove, that is inherently a part of Tampa. I guess the basis of everything we do is it starts with this notion of not saying be. You know what I mean?
finished up watching the premiere of Tampa Bay Crafting the Bay. It was a documentary about the craft beer industry present day throughout the Tampa Bay area, including St. Petersburg and surrounding communities. My takeaway was the history. They really showed how the beer industry started in Tampa for the state of Florida and how it managed through the prohibition and the large breweries, the small breweries, the craft brewing, the home brewing, like it really was well done. And I would say like, we're in an industry where you have direct competitors, like they're all within um, a mile range where they should not have the community that they do. Um, and somehow they have managed to bond together and um, make it work and it's evident. This is why we love breweries so much. It, honestly, like they're all family. They're not competing with each other and it could be breweries that are right next door to each other and they embrace and they help and all they want to do is produce good beer. We just feel really fortunate that we were a part of it tonight. You're about to get a treat. Spoiler. You. Now we're gonna, um...